Warzone's map just got nuked in the two part event that happened over the past two days and with it we got a new map. Well, kinda. Anyway, welcome back to the channel team and as I said before, Warzone just kinda got a new map with its latest event and needless to say it's not the greatest. Now the first thing I want to say is that I never played Warzone like that because of its terrible camping playstyle and slow paced gameplay but I'm also not a stranger to Warzone either. So of course being an avid COD fan and an occasional Warzone player, I had to check out this whole new map business and the new event that came with it. Granted most of the time in the event consisted of server queues, I still got to witness it though and it wasn't great for how hyped it was. Literally everything that happened was in part 1 you either survived or became a zombies and after 5 minutes or so Verdansk got nuked. Part 2 you were on Rebirth Island and one team sets off the nuke on Verdansk and it flashes back to the 80s and we get the new map Verdansk 84 or Verdansk 1984 whatever you want to call it. And that's it, that's the whole event and that was the new map that isn't even new. It's a reskin with a couple new locations and an interesting tint on it. Personally, I just think it was the laziest thing that could have happened. Now don't get me wrong, I am thankful that we at least got something different for the very little it has because a whole year on the same map with zero updates to it besides pointless ones that are cool for a day was pretty terrible. But waiting a whole year as well for them to release the same map shaked up a little bit is where I find my problem. But before everything happened, and before we knew everything, the rumor that was going around was that the new Warzone map was going to be all the Cold War Fireteam maps into one big map, and honestly, I would have liked that more than what we got. I think my biggest concern here is that I'm not satisfied with the new map, but if we got a whole new map, how good would it really be? For example here, let's talk about Fortnite, the leaders of BR for a while. They gave us a new map in Chapter 2, a whole new map with a couple familiar locations, and for the first month, it was great, but now every single person I know, me included, wants the old map back because it was simply superior to the new one, but you can't go back to the old map, it's gone, just like the old 2021 Verdansk map. After all this time though, with Fortnite, if they would've just gave us a reskin of the original map, I think everyone would be happy with that. Only and if only they got to play the new map though, and that's what's weird with Warzone. There's no new map to play so we can't appreciate a new map or remember how good the old one was so we're left with a reskin that has left the community half and half on popularity with it. And it's also Treyarch and Raven working on the new map to my knowledge as well, and I fully believe they could have nailed a new map that could have rivaled the most popular BR maps. But we'll never get to know what it's like because they opted to pick an easy lore route with Verdansk and just change it up a little bit with Verdansk 1984. So let me know what you think of the new Warzone map in the comments and if you think it's good enough or if you would have liked to see something else in Warzone. And if you are enjoying videos like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more COD content like this. And don't worry as it's always free to subscribe and you can always unsubscribe later. But I think what mainly kills this map for me is that they didn't change a single thing about the buildings. Every single building that everyone camped in before is the exact same but maybe has a wallpaper on it which means the camping meta is going to stay and don't get me wrong, camping is sometimes a good mechanism in a certain situation but camping the entire game with ghost on in one single building peeking a window only when someone isn't looking at you and only moving when you have to with a heartbeat sensor out at all times or camping a rooftop with only one access point that you can hold to make sure no one can contest you that's a problematic camping, and that's what kills Warzone for me. If most players didn't play like this and actually moved more, I would play it a lot more because I do think it's a good BR, it's just the playstyle that's adopted by the majority that kills it for me and many others. And keeping the exact same layout for this type of game style on the new reskin map makes me worry that the problem is going to remain which sucks to see and kills the fun of this map entirely. Also the tent on this map is disgusting. I don't know how to explain it too well, but it kind of looks like someone tried to color grade really dull footage but is new to color grading and got really hyped about it because it was their best work to the time that they've done it, but in reality it wasn't that great because they're obviously new to color grading so they don't have everything under their belt yet. But it is more vibrant though. Kinda. You can see more is what I'm trying to say here, which was a huge problem with every Modern Warfare game. It's the one thing I never liked about every single Modern Warfare game. They always look so dull and boring compared to every Treyarch game, and it just always annoyed me for whatever reason. Now, I'm not going to bash this too much though, because being able to see Rose skins easier is a blessing, so you can have this one raving. One last thing though about this map that they could do to make it better than the original Verdansk map, update it. Please, I am begging that you add new POIs and stuff to do within the map and not have us play the exact same thing for another year until we get World War II Verdansk or wherever the new COD is going to be and do the exact same thing over again. It's such a simple thing to do that would greatly improve the map and make it better. 
the original Verdansk never getting any new POIs besides a useless ship for an entire year had to be one of its biggest flaws besides its obvious design flaws and it's just one of the most annoying parts of that map. But I'm still guessing that this is it. This is the new map, nothing different besides the 6 new POIs and new tent until the next COD comes out and we get another reskin of Verdansk, but I could be wrong though. Overall though, I am grateful for this map. Anything different than the original Verdansk that can bring back players for even just a couple of days is a great improvement. Is this map wanted though? No, preferably it would be the Blackout map in my personal opinion, but that's not coming so I gotta make peace with the Verdansk 1984 map. Now, will I go play Warzone over Cold War because of this map? Probably not. I have to give this map some time because chances are the same problems are going to consist and I will find myself right back playing the neglected 636 COD, but you never know. In the end though, I just hope they don't fumble the back here and can actually make something of this, but until the next huge Warzone update, see ya.